It takes me a while to figure some things out, but I'm beginning to think Inside Edition's got its own version of Survivor cooking. In their game, they put me in as many unusual or stressful situations as they can think of to see if I can hack it. This week, they had me sing in front of 30,000 people. And the real test, be a nanny for a California mom with eight kids. Hi there. I'm Deborah Norville. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Eleanor. Yes, I nice to meet you. What can I do? How can I help? Come on in. Thank you. And so it was that at the crack of dawn earlier this week, I began a very long, hard day working as a nanny for the Womax in Santa Monica. Hey, big guy, what's your name? Don't get me wrong, I'm used to long days, and I'm very familiar with being a mom, but eight kids? So let me see if I've got this right. There's Chase, Sam, and Josh. They're the oldest at nine, and they're fraternal triplets. Then there's six-year-old Joy. Next come the twins, Grace and Luke, who are five. Then there's three-year-old Clay James and tiny baby David, who's just eight months old. Eleanor, do you want me to do something in the kitchen to get uh, breakfast out? Eleanor Womack is the mother of this remarkable brood. She was a Harvard Medical School grad doing cancer research when she fell in love with internet entrepreneur Clay Womack. They married in 1990, and the next year she gave birth to triplets. One year later, she gave up medicine permanently for motherhood. I think these things are done. The race is on. Seven kids need to get off to school. I forget how to tie. I can tie. Really? You can tie. I'm having those muscles. Oh, my God. Is that good? Oh. oh. What is it? What is it? You got two pieces in there. He's trying to do it right. Okay. Come here. Oh. Faith is very important in this family, so breakfast isn't over until the daily scripture passage is read. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Then, there are all those lunches to make. One, two, three, four peanut butter and jellies. Is that mine? Um, nope, yours is coming up. I think everybody's got what they want for lunch, or at least they got something. Does everybody have backpacks? Okay, now, who sits where? I'll see you after school. Oh my God. <laughs> now it's just baby David and me. I can't even imagine what it would be like to have eight children, but Eleanor has figured out one of the secrets. It's extraordinary organization. Needless to say, the Womax keep Costco in business. All too soon, the kids are back from school, and there's homework to be done. So tell me what you did at school today. Which the triplets have to do in a hurry. They've got baseball practice. What's the neatest thing about being such a big family? You always have someone to play with. Uh, you all set? Oh. Okay, have fun. We'll see you at 7, OK? Back at home, it'll soon be David's bedtime, and he needs a bath. I've got a messy nose. That means I get to wipe it. <laughs> and then a bottle, and off to bed. One down, seven to go. But not yet. Everybody else needs dinner. All right, young lady, what do you want in your taco? I'm and done. bedtime stories. OK, who wants to go to bed? I'm wiped out, but left with some questions. You know Will the Womax be having more children? Yeah. Are you finished? Don't know. You don't know? Don't know. Eleanor, are you finished? That's what the man says. Women across America will have their jaws go like this to hear that. As a professional person, I poured myself out, and the return was minimal. And I came home empty. And here I stay home, and I'm full. I'm full all the time. It's the end of a long day, and as exhausted as I am, the message of this house still rings through. A message of okay. remarkable parenting that you. goes on every day. Eleanor does it amazingly well and with an incredible amount of, of grace and sort of, she almost sort of floats through the day. I'm in awe. I am in awe. I couldn't do it without any kids. I have three fabulous children. I just want to get home to them. <laughs> I don't need to add to the three I've got. I just need to spend more time with them. And sweeties, mommy will be home tonight. I can't wait.